Hi there, everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me today for a Case the Catalogue Challenge. Today, I'm going to grab the annual catalogue, open it up to a set that I have and case one of the demonstration cards that's with it. I will caveat that as demonstrators, we do get sent a recipe card telling us how to make the cards that are in the catalogue, but I have not looked at them. So this is going to be completely just going from the picture and deciding what they've done and making the card to match. So let's get started. I will also add everything I use in the project today is available from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Enjoy the project. Today's Case the Catalogue card is going to be using the Amazing Year Kling stamp set. I love this one. I think it's gorgeous. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it in the catalogue. It's right here on page 28. £21 and it's a cling stamp set and they have done two gorgeous cards with this. Truth be told I had no idea which one I wanted a case because I loved them both but I've been thinking about it and I'm going to go with this one. It's unusual to me to have a whole DSP background on a card that's something you very rarely see me do. Um, so I thought, you know what, it's a bit different and it's a bit more fun. This one here is my sort of style. It's the card that I would usually make on one of my showcase cards or somewhere else on my channel. So I thought, you know what, go for something that's not healthy. So I'm going to go with this one. And as always, I'm going to put a little picture in the corner so you can see what we're making. So to start off with, I have got a piece of cardstock. So this is my card base. I've also got a piece of patterned DSP. While I haven't got the DSP that they have used, I do have this sweet sorbet DSP and I'm actually going to use this side and adhere this directly to the card. So what I'm going to do, and this is a tip actually, um, is I am going to adhere this as a full six by six onto the card. Now, if I'm normally doing a white base on top of the card, you will see that I normally pre-cut it. But when you want to do a bright coloured base or if you're using DSP and you're going to be putting it straight onto the card, I actually find this a much better way because you can pop it onto the card like that. And it is a way of making sure that all of the card base is covered and you don't have any white around the edges because then you can just use your scissors. And you can just snip it off around the edge of the card, but it's going to be the same size as your card that way, and you're not going to have any frame. So, I mean, ordinarily, I have a frame when I put things onto the card, but they haven't got one. Their card is like that, edge to edge. So that's what I've done. Okay, so I'm just going to put that to the side while I concentrate on doing the front facing bits. So I've got some scrap basic white here and I'm going to be using that. So first up, I'm going to stamp my present. All right, I'm going to do it in Memento ink. So I'm just going to ink that up. And I'm going to stamp it down in this corner over here. Like that. And then I want the sentiment. So the sentiment is birthday wishes. And I'm going to be using the Sweet Sorbet ink pad for this. So it matches the paper spot on. That's the best thing about stamping up, isn't it? That everything matches. So I am just going to stamp that onto the basic white, but I'm going to leave myself enough space at the edge to be able to put a flag in. Okay. So next up, I'm going to be colouring my parcel. I'm going to want it in sweet sorbet. Um, so I'm just going to grab the sweet sorbet dark and light blends. And I'm just going to run the dark bit just along the edge of the bow. OK, 
Okay, I'm not being too neat, too precise with this. I'm just popping a bit of the darker colour just so we get a bit of a blend. And then I'm going to come in with a light and I'm just going to go over all of that and colour it all in. Now they've made the parcel kind of a light blue, which might be hard to see on the screen, but the more and more I've looked at the catalog page, it is a very light baby blue. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to um, blend it in, in pool party, but that's not what they've done. They have done it so light that I'm not sure it would show up on the screen, and they've actually used their watercolour pencils, I think, to get it that light. Um, I want it to show up to you on the video, but also if I'm going to be playing with colours, I want people to see the colours I've put on, not have to stare at it for a few seconds to actually see if it's a different colour or not. Which is what I was having to do in the catalogue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the light pool party and using the brush tip, I'm just going to add the colour on there. It's still not dark. I don't want it to be dark, but I just want people to actually be able to see it is a different colour rather than me with my magnifying glass looking at the catalogue thinking, have they done that a different colour? Because it looks a different colour. Okay, so hopefully from you sitting at home, you can actually see that my present is a different colour. Okay, so now we're up for some fussy cutting. So this is a dead simple one to fussy cut. And you can see I'm actually not going on the lines. They haven't, they've left a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap, which will help people like me, who's always unsure, to see that I've actually coloured it in a different colour. Okay, so it's a very, very quick fussy cut, this one. And round we go. I just thought this was a gorgeous set from the minute I saw it in the catalogue. I was dead excited by it. Because this is a big sentiment, I'm actually going to use my trimmer to make sure I've got straight lines all the way around this, okay? So first up, I'm just gonna do a straight line underneath it. And then a straight line on the top of it. Okay, I'm just gonna cut that off so it's a bit more manageable. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm sure you've seen me do this a hundred times on my channel. You just slip up there towards the middle and then you come from the corners and you meet in the middle. Like that. All right, so I'm gonna bring my card in. And what they've also got is they've got a strip of it looks like a lemon colour, so I'm going to guess it is a so saffron. I'm just going to cut myself a strip of so saffron, um, about ooh, two centimetres by, I'll tell you what I've cut it by in a minute. So two centimetres. And this one is by 10 centimetres. And I'm just going to, first of all, pop a strip of adhesive underneath this and stick it onto that. So it's sort of like that. Dimensional time, pop this up on your card base with your dimensionals. pop that on like that and then you want to pop the present on as well
like that. And then we want some pretties to put around it. So I think that they have used um, these, the classic matte dots. Now I've got some of those already open, so I'm just looking because I like to use what's already open. And I think they've coloured these so that they are that pool party type colour. So I'm going to do the same. And I'm just going to grab my blends and they've used the little ones. So I'm just going to go over. It's not massive, but I'm just going to go over. These four here, and you can just slightly see the colour difference. It's not massive, but you can see it. And I'm then going to pick them up and put them on my card. One, two, three, four, and five. And there is my case birthday wishes card using the amazing year stamp set. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do give me a like and a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. Subscribe and come back for more. And I will see you all again soon. Everything I've used today is available from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store, www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.